let's go to Dr. Ola. Dr. Ola, thanks for holding. I had to answer that question. So on the line, we have my man, Dr. Ola, who is uh, the head of the United African Community Organization. United African Community Organization, better known as UACO, and they have the 18th annual African Unity Festival coming up this Wednesday, July 4th, at Eliza Howell Park in Detroit. Dr. Ola, how you doing today? Oh, I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm all right, brother. I'm all right, brother. It's, uh, it's good to talk to you. Good to see you yesterday out at the park. So you all have thousands of people that come out to this celebration, and a lot of people don't know about it. So tell people, what is the annual African Unity Festival that takes place in Detroit the 4th of July uh, uh, every month, every year? Yes. Uh, well, it takes part at the fifth place at the Eliza Howard Park. Uh, it's an annual picnic that we do for the family, just to get the family just close to the like family reunion and things like that. We family reunion, there. yeah. As a family, we celebrate the Black history, and you are one of us who participate in the Black history, uh, African authentic African clothes and merchandise, merchandise. You know, just a celebration of our people. Okay. Absolutely. So you have vendors out there. It's a celebration of African people. Now, it's a unity festival. Now, I know I've been out there uh, a, a few years. I've been a vendor out there. And you have um, uh, not just vendors, but you have uh, different African, continental African organizations from Senegal, from Guinea, from Nigeria, from Ghana, Gambia, Mali, Malawi, Tanzania. So um, the different African organizations, when they have their tents, uh, out there, as people will see July 4th, Wednesday, July 4th. What are the different African organizations doing? Yeah, what we do, you know, this is a day that we are about 25 African national organizations. We all come together to celebrate uh, the family, just like a family celebration. With, you know, a lot of people don't go to work. We just decide what are we going to do. We celebrate ourselves. Right. Mostly like uh, money, the African unity, the faith in ourselves, the love for each other. So it's a way to see ourselves again. The way it's a way to give uh, praise to the ancestor. That uh, the, the last time some people have seen each other maybe one year ago. So this is a celebration of the human spirit that we come together. But it consists of about 25 and the African American. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the African that is born in the homeland and the African is born in the diaspora, in the Caribbean, in the Canada, in America. Yes. We are all set. So this is the time we all come together to celebrate the spirituality right. and the common unity. Right. So you have at, so, so you have continental African organizations there and you have African Americans there as well coming together in unity. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. The Caribbean too. And the Caribbean as well, because we know throughout the diaspora, we know Haiti, Jamaica, and Cuba, Puerto Rico, things like this. Okay, yes. so so uh, uh, so let me ask you a question. Um, you hold this on July fourth, so July fourth is yes. known in this country as Independence Day, but we know uh, yes. July fourth, seventeen seventy six, most African Americans were enslaved, so we know it's not our Independence Day. Okay, so so just curious, why do you hold it on July fourth, and what is significant to continental Africans about July fourth? Yeah, well, like uh, the uh, Kuma, Uncle Ukuma once said, the liberation of Africans everywhere in the world. Until okay. all the Africans are saved, uh, mm -hmm. they, are, they are free. So we, we choose the day because this is the day we are also free. Okay. The American people, the African American, mm -hmm. we, 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 we celebrate the African American, we celebrate. You know, this is uh, the last time we have an uh, African American who's, uh, who's a president here. You know, okay, uh, Barack Obama. Obama. Sure. So we are also an integral part of the civilization. We want to leave the past behind and move for the forward because there's no way you are going to write the history of the United States of America now that you can't write the Black American. Okay. We have Martin Luther King, we have Mark Long X, we have Barack Obama now. Right. So. We got to celebrate, you know. It's not really things that uh, separate us, but things that bring us together. Okay, so, celebrate yeah. things that bring us together. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. So so you choose July 4th, a lot of people are off work that day. It's not necessarily saying yeah. that uh, July 4th, 1776, African Americans were free because most of us were enslaved. But it's, but since since uh, a lot of people have that day off, we, we come together to celebrate a unity between continental yeah. Africans, African Americans, and those in the Caribbean. Is that mm-hmm. correct? Yes. Yes, okay. That's what we are doing. All right. Yeah. Now, now let me ask you a question. So this is taking place, everybody. This is a free event. It's taking place Wednesday, yeah. July fourth, two thousand eighteen, at Eliza Howell Park. H O W E L L. Eliza Howell Park at Finkel and Telegraph Road in Detroit, Michigan. Eleven a.m. Yeah, to eight p.m. Go ahead. Yeah, if you're looking for African history books, clothes, you know, mm-hmm. souvenir, carving, right from the home line. Right. Uh, we African dance city. We African <laughs> clothes for uh, right. uh, beautiful women and sisters. Right. We African Agbada dance city. Right. Had all the authentic African history books, mm-hmm. all those things that. And so these will be all these types of vendors out there. Colors. All these types of vendors. Yeah. You can get African music. You can get Jewelry, African clothing. Yes, go ahead. Necklace. Necklace. You know, all shoes. Yes. African made. A- absolutely. By the African. Right, and then uh, the African History Network will uh, will have a, a a vendor a table out there, Michael M Hotel. Yes. Come check that out. I have my DVD lectures there uh, as well. Yes, we'll be out there all day, so come support that. So there's going to be African culture. There'll be dance. There'll be food, sports, music, yes, and, good, and live performances. Music, Go uh, ahead. Dancing, mm-hmm. celebration, you know, sports, soccer, you know, all those things. Soccer, yes. Club of war. Right. Soccer, yes. race, you know, all these things. Absolutely. They, they, they have this all going on. This takes place every year, July 4th, Eliza Howell Park, uh, in Detroit, Finkel and Telegraph. It's a free event. It's family friendly. Bring the family out also. Yeah, Eight, 18th annual African uh, Unity Festival. Um, now, let me ask you a question. So, a lot of times, African Americans hear that continental Africans don't like us, continental Africans hate us. So, then this causes friction between continental Africans yeah. and African Americans. Talk 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 about that. What's going on there? Well, the issue here is that uh, once, uh, as a former United Nations officer, you know, as a diplomat, I once asked people like that. Mm-hmm. He said the problem is that because we don't write our own history. We don't write our own history. All that people define us, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, what we're looking for is African American to participate in the African stuff. Okay. So, you know, you hear about when Makalam X went to Africa, Mohammed that did, mm-hmm. Andrew Young, you know, we got to start having our honeymoon over there. And don't forget about what people is trying to tell us. It's more than bring us together than separate us. We are all one family. We are all extension of family. If right. somebody take your brother away, take your sister away, <laughs> rape your children, rape your gun, they come and tell you, no, he don't like you. How can he be don't like you? Right. Somebody take your sister away. You know what it is to take your mother and your brother away, and somebody come and tell you 10 years, 20 years, 3,000 years, oh, he didn't like you. It's because they're writing the book. They don't start writing our book by ourselves if we don't write it. Right. right. They're writing the history. That's what we are doing now. Yeah. Yeah. Europeans yeah, are writing the history. Right. And as I tell people, yeah. the same people who told African Americans that continental Africans hate us, these are the same people who told yeah. continental Africans that African Americans hate them. Okay, and, yeah. and 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 also what we're dealing with are the negative images of African Americans exported out of this country by white controlled media that show that depict us negatively and then influence the way other people perceive us and treat us. And then we see the same thing about Africa, the negative depictions of Africa and showing a lot of poverty and things like this, but not showing not not showing modern cities, not showing very well educated people in places like Nigeria or, or things like this, right? So they pro, so they so white supremacy and white control media promotes this lie about African Americans and continent. Africans, okay, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, basically, what you're doing now, mm-hmm. you are promoting yourself, you're promoting the African culture. Yes, Three, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, we probably don't even have people like you who could control a radio station, you could speak whatever you want, right? When we start writing our own history, when we start broadcasting our own culture, when we start celebrating ourselves, that is when the history is done. Now, when other people write to us, I give you produce. 
for what you're doing, and um, we are very proud of you, of your station and your communication. And yes. you continue, brother, you're doing the right thing, because we want to tell our own story. We're tired and sick and tired of everybody telling our story. We want to tell our Absolutely. own story as it is for us. Absolutely. And what you are doing today. And we, the African community, congratulate you. Thank you, brother. Well, power is the ability to define and shape reality and have other people accept your definition of reality as if it were their own. This is what power is. So this is why something like this is, is, is so important, okay? 18th Annual African Unity Festival at Eliza Howe Park, H-O-W-E-L-L. It's at Finkel and Telegraph Road, uh, Wednesday, July 4th, 2018, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., free event, bring the family. Is there a website or anything uh, where people can get more information, Dr. Yeah, Ola? The website is uh, my, the, um, myueco.org, M-Y-U-A-C-O.org. Okay, myueco. If, if you want to call us, uh-huh. you can call us on the telephone, 313-574-2607. Okay. 313-574-2607. And you do not remember my people. Okay. You feel it for our people who need direction. Right. Or, or want to vend or want to participate. Okay. So the website, once again, is my, M-Y-U-A-C-O, my Uaco, U-A-C-O. Yeah, dot org. .org. And then the phone number is 313-574-2607, 313-574-2607. If you need more information, you need directions, you want information about being a vendor, definitely come on out, okay? Well, look, brother, I will see you all bright and early uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, people will definitely come out and support this event, support the African History Network. We be, we'll be there all day. We'll uh, have a big discount on a lot of our DVD lectures. And uh, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule, Dr. Ola. And uh, where, where are you yeah. from, by the way? I forgot. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Nigeria. That's what I'm I thought. You Yoruba? I'm really from the west. Are you, I'm really from the west side of Detroit. I've been here for such a long time. Okay. Are you Yoruba? Yeah. Peace and love now. Okay. Are you Yoruba? Yes, sir. Thank okay. You. That's what I thought. Okay. Take care, brother. Have a good day. All right, so that's Dr. Ola from uh, Uwaco, United African Community Organization, and uh, they do the uh, annual uh, African Unity Festivals taking place this uh, Wednesday. And uh, we'll get this flyer at our website, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com. We already posted it on our uh, fan page, The African History Network, The African History Network, okay?